guys, brand new fifth scale gas RC. We're gonna get it running. What's up, Nitro gang? Right here we have a pair of Rovins. This is a brand new Shorty Q Baja. And this right here is my own 30cc Baja. This in fact was the first one I ever bought from Rovin. Today, we're gonna be wearing a cool jacket. Why? Because we're gonna be breaking in the Shorty Q Baja like a gentleman. I want him to think I'm a professional. This one in particular is from Banggood. They are about 630 bucks right now. Free shipping, no tax. Where are you not gonna get charged tax in America nowadays? Only Banggood, that's right. Anyways. This particular one is a 29cc model. In fact, they are all 29ccs. This has a couple of really nice upgrades in the back. It has a steel wheelie bar because the short chassis here is really known for being a wheelie monster. Now, oftentimes I call a T-Max a wheelie monster. Well, in this case, this is gonna be a gas RC wheelie monster. Just to compare the sizes of both of these, have a look. The Roven Shorty is about four inches shorter. You see my wheels on my own 30cc Roven Baja are hanging off this table here. Uh, we don't have enough table if you know what I'm saying. In the back here, they are almost in line with each other. But in the front, yeah, the Shorty Baja gets its name because it's a damn Shorty. Now, the main chassis differences, if you're asking yourself, well, how do they manage to do this, you know? You notice my fuel tank? It's right here in the middle of the chassis. On the Shorty Baja, the fuel tank is right there in the back. Now, some people say, hey, that's a dangerous spot to put it in. You know what I say? If Roven did it, it's fine. No big deal, it's gonna be fine. I'm a little tired, I gotta unbutton my jacket. Hard to speak with this thing buttoned in, you know, I had a big dinner last night. Okay, back to the Baja, guys. Now, we have a battery pack right here because we have to put the battery pack in. It does not come with a battery. This is a really good 5,000 capacity pack uh, from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Look at the pipes, guys. It's all about that pipe and it's all about that wheelie bar. Oh yeah. One of my least favorite things about my own Roven is the fact that if you get rear-ended, there's absolutely no protection here in the back. Now this one got the protection in the back all covered, if you know what I'm saying. The other good thing is these all-terrain tires. These are really, really good for off-road use, really good for street use, and they have very long wear characteristics. In fact, I like them so much, I'm eventually gonna be putting them on my own Baja right here. Now, for now, I just have these uh, drag tires. But anyway, guys, brand new fifth scale gas RC. We're gonna get it running. First, we gotta do a little bit of prep and maintenance. Clearly, I have to oil this filter they do not come pre-oiled guys so i already took off this clip here here we go filter comes off easy guys we only have to oil this inside part the exterior is just an extra filter layer for dust protection everything looks okay the radio box is now exposed we're gonna put the battery in here then the electronics should be good and then we'll do a little check of the electronic system before the break and just a couple of the pre-start checks you always got to do by the way we are going to be running the best oil so far that i think uh the gas rc world has determined to be this is the amsoil two-stroke dominator i've even heard people running this at 100 to 1 and the engines are fine of course we're not going to do 101 because uh you know we're cautious sometimes a little bit scared nitro gang you know we're not afraid of much, but we are afraid of running lean, you know what I'm saying? We don't want any engine damage. Hey guys, I use this bag because it's just easier. You don't get your hands all dirty. Put some oil on it. You don't want to oversaturate it. That, looks, that should be adequate. That looks like red gold. Okay, then just go like this a couple times to get the oil all even in there, right? I'm gonna put the filter back on here. I figured while the radio box is open here, why not convert it to run this Flysky GT5 system? One of the best radios, a very good small receiver, reliable, they are cheap. In fact, I run this system on almost all of my RCs. The stock radio it came with is a two channel. Now, of course, if you wanna put a kill switch in the future, you're gonna need something with more than two channels. And this thing has six channels, guys. So we have channel overload, you know what I'm saying? The radio system is set, steering is uh, super strong. These use 45 kilogram steering servos. You're never gonna need more kilograms than that. Throttle brake, everything works perfect. 
right? Let's just see if our fail safe is activated. Now, when I turn off the remote here, we want to make sure that the brakes do engage. If not, then I will just simply set it on the remote. Let's see what happens. I'm going to activate. Okay, so we have no fail safe yet. I am going to be setting the fail safe right now. I'm going to go to the fail safe function here, channel two throttle, and we want to apply max brake. I am pressing the brake lever here. And then I'm going to press that. And that's it. So we are at 100% on the throttle. That means full brake. Now, guys, when I turn off the radio, this should engage automatic brakes all the way. Let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. You see that? When you have signal loss, the fail safe kicks in, full brake. Now, when you power the system back on, it goes back. Once again, check this out. Boom, there you go, fail safe set. Now, of course, this is not an external kill switch, but at least we do have some kind of system in case you have radio signal loss, whatever happens. As long as there's power uh, in the car, this will engage full brakes. You could set the fail safe for any channel. I know some people asked me previously, you know, how many channels you could set it to. Any channel, up to six channels, clearly, you know, because then you're gonna run out of channels. The new FlySky receiver is in. Got to mount the battery and put this all back together. Radio system is fully assembled. I did have to fumble around with this uh, radio box. It's a little bit tight in there. Filter is on, and now it's time to mount the body back on. Mix some fuel, mix some oil, right? And then we're gonna start it, guys. The best part ever, the first start. Before I start it and while the body is off, let's just take a close look at some of the upgraded features. Very important, we have a metal clutch belt brace right here. I personally had a lot of issues with these myself and other cheaper Bajas. This one already has the metal upgraded clutch brace. Yeah, I'm gonna have problems here. We have a metal rear shock support. The front has typical Baja shocks. Actually, these are very smooth, I would say, for a Roven. You know, this is not my first Roven overview and I could say these are extremely smooth, way smoother than what I'm normally used to. So pretty nice setup, digital servo here, giant fit scale servo here. It's all about that mix. So first we're gonna put some oil into this included mixing container. We have to hit this one mark here. Oh yeah, Dominator oil, baby. Now we need to put enough gas to uh, hit this partition marked one on top and we will have a 25 to one ratio. Oftentimes what I do is I just get a gallon jug like this, right? Make sure that it's a gallon in there. You could monitor the fuel pump and then you put in four ounces. That will give you a predetermined oil to fuel ratio. Here we go. Ha, huh. this is pouring slower than I expected, huh? Yep. It's not breathing. Yeah, we need a breather on this, just like the Baja's fuel tank. Close it up and then we're gonna... Shake. Yeah, we're gonna shake it. We just have to get the oil into the other side. Oh, wow. There's no gas leaking out. I'm, I'm frankly very surprised. Maybe the Banggood mixing jug is uh, very good. Yeah, mix it up a little bit. No leaks at all. I can't even smell the gas. This is nice. Okay, now we have to put in a little more. More gas? Yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it over here. It doesn't really matter. Just hold it. It'll eventually come over here. Anyway. Mix it up a little more. You know, pretend you're mixing a uh, cookie batter, right? <laughs> Don't eat too much of that cookie batter. It's going to hurt your stomach. <laughs> That's it, guys. We This is uh, pretty close to 25 to 1. It's fine. You know, I'm not a damn scientist here. I'm uh, just an RC guy. The first drop of gas in the Baja. There we go. How's it feel, man? Oh, you're putting in your first drop of gas, right? I love it. Feels nice. How yeah. would you say this compares to nitro? You could smell uh, it more, right? Yeah, but but can't compare this to nitro. That's right. We all know nitro is nitro. Uh, that's enough. Yeah. We don't need any more yet. We're going to start it up. That's what matters. The first start. It's all about that first start, baby. You guys excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. Christian, you excited? You excited? Everyone's excited. Let's start. Go. 
Make sure whenever you're starting your gas RC for the first time, you have the wheels elevated off the ground. You never want something bad to happen and for there to be a runaway. Just a safety precaution here. Okay, we're gonna prime it. Let's see how many times it takes to see fuel in the primer bulb. Okay, I see fuel right there. Pretty nice. I'm gonna do a couple more. To start it, we wanna prime it. A couple short pulls like this. And then you should hear a little pop. This is literally drawing fuel into the motor. The pressing the primer bulb does not draw fuel into the motor, just creates fuel pressure in the line. Couple more, and then I'll do a longer pull. All right, first long pull. Oh. It's trying. I like it. Guys, it's on, baby. Oh, 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 I'm getting that off. Oh. Too much smoke in the face. Okay guys, first startup, very successful, started easy. The carb settings were ideal. I only slightly lowered the low speed needle here. You know, get a little bit of that lower idle, but ideal, perfect. Gonna give it a couple more uh, break-in cycles. A lot of people don't even do this stuff, but you know what? I do as recommended because then nobody could say, hey, listen, bro, you never did the heat cycles, you know? Just one of those things, but nice chassis. You really hear that pop. The exhaust sounds great. This Dominator oil also smells great. I, I, I like it. I probably will be changing to that myself. A couple minutes, I'm gonna start it up again. Give it another 10 minute heat cycle. Heat cycle number two, guys. First pull, first start, baby. Second heat cycle, full success. This thing starts really nicely. For those of you wondering how good are these Banggood Robins? Well, this is one of them. I've bought another one on my channel. They are very, very good. Absolutely nothing wrong with them, you know? As long as you take care of them, learn how to start them, learn how to run them, you're gonna have no problems, guys. You didn't think I came to do a break-in on a gas RC without my own, right? This is mine, yep. I'm about to run it right now too. In the meantime, we're gonna let the Shorty Baja there cool down. That's right, baby, first start. First pull, first start, baby, it's about to happen. Like I said. Let's do this. All right, I'm on a little track here. There's a couple uh, 10 scale short courses, you know, driven by kids. I gotta be careful. We're not doing full throttle. Whoa, whoa, almost collision. Whoa, they wanna get me over there. They wanna get me. You can't beat a gas RC, bro, come on. Okay, so the symmetrical steering is incredible. It steers very sharp. Oh, very sharp. Yeah, it's taking those turns. Awesome, guys. Oh, I'm not trying to hit nobody. They're just trying to get me. They're jealous of my exhaust, baby. Oh, they're trying to get me. It's okay, we got a corner marshal right here. 
Corner Marshall's doing his job. This is Days of Thunder. Days of Thunder, I'm Tom Cruise, baby. All right, I've had enough. Enough of a little run here. I'm gonna shove this thing down. I'm happy, guys. There's a little bit of uh, Days of Thunder going on over here. You know, they're always trying to get me in my gas RCs, but I'm always gonna win. Why? Because the fit scale gas RC is uh, pretty much the king out here. Don't even ask me why. It is. Rampage XR Monster Conversion. We're about to do some test laps. 